Welcome to the fifth session on MicroFocus's DevWeb Protocol. In this video, we will learn how to add transactions to the script using the new DevWeb SDK and view the measurements stored in the generated database. We'll learn how to add transactions to a script, control their status, and view the results. This is the request for the landing page of the Advantage Online website. We would like to create a transaction around this request that will pass or fail based on the time it takes to load this page. We'll call our transaction landing page. The name can be anything and it will be used as the display name in the reporting tools. The transaction has not yet started. Let's start it right before the web request call. And stop it right after the web request. We can see that the transaction passed and that the duration is a little over 4 seconds. Let's add a condition which will determine the transaction status. We update the transaction object to reflect the state of the transaction in this particular place in the script. Then we stop the transaction based on the duration. If the duration is less than 5 seconds, we mark the transaction as passed, otherwise as failed. We can see that the transaction passed because the duration was lower than 5 seconds. Here we can see that the transactions data are reported to the results database with all the transaction details. Thank you for watching this video about adding transactions in a DevWeb script. We invite you to watch our next video about parameterization.